Now, we need to subtract a multiple of 10 from a three digit number. So remember, a multiple of 10 is a number in the 10 times table. So a number that ends in a zero. First, we have 404 minus 30. Now, because we're not subtracting any ones, we know that our ones digit is going to stay the same in our answer. So the ones digit of our answer will be a four. But if we ignore our ones digit, we have 40 minus three. Now 40 minus three is 37. So we can write 37, but then because we're not subtracting any ones, the four in our ones stays the same. So that gives us 374 as our answer. 40 minus three is 37, and then the four stays the same because we're subtracting zero ones. So now let's look at 351 minus 70. We're subtracting zero ones, so our ones digit will stay the same. But if we ignore our ones digits, we have 35 minus seven, which is 28. Remember, we can subtract mentally by bridging. So if we subtract five, we get to 30, and then we subtract two more from 30, because that means we've subtracted seven altogether. So because 35 minus seven is 28, we can write 28 and then keep our ones digit the same. So we get 281. Now 736 minus 80. Our ones digit will stay the same. So we can work out 73 minus eight. That's 65. So we can write 65 and then keep our six ones the same. So we get 656. And finally, we have 755 minus 90. We know that our ones digit will stay the same. So if we work out that 75 minus nine is 66, we can write 66 and then leave our ones digit the same to give us our answer 665. So now let's take a closer look at these questions and think about why this method works and also why even though we're subtracting tens, our hundreds digit often needs to change as well. So first we had 404 minus 30. So here we start with four hundreds, no tens and four ones. But we need to subtract 30 and that's three tens. So what we need to do is exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens. So then we can take one, two, three tens away, and then we have three hundreds and seven tens. So that's why working out that 40 minus three is 37 helped us to solve this problem. Because the four ones, of course, have stayed the same because we're not subtracting any ones. Then we started with 351, so three hundreds, five tens, and one one. To subtract seven tens, because we only have five tens, we'll need to exchange a hundred for ten more tens. And then we can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that leaves us with two hundreds and eight tens. So working out that 35 minus seven was 28 told us how many hundreds and tens we would have in our answer. Now, 736 minus 80. Again, we need to subtract eight tens, but we only have three tens. So we'll need to exchange a hundred for 10 more tens. Then we can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that leaves us with now, because we've exchanged only six hundreds and we have five tens. The number of ones has of course stayed the same. And then for this question, we start with 755, but we need to subtract 90. So that's subtracting nine tens. Because we only have five tens, we need to exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens, and then we can subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, and that leaves us with six hundreds and six tens. 
So here we've used base 10 blocks to model the subtraction, but we can also use place value counters. So let's look at 404 minus 30. We start with four hundreds, no tens, and four ones, but we need to take three tens away. So what we need to do is exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens, and we can do that because 10 tens has the same value as 100. So now, because we're subtracting 30, we can take three of those tens away to leave us with three hundreds and seven tens in our answer, and our ones has stayed the same. Then we can start with 351. To subtract 70, we're subtracting seven tens. Now we can take away one, two, three, four, five tens, then we can exchange, and then take away six, seven tens, and that leaves us with two hundreds and eight tens. Now, 736, we need to subtract eight tens. We can subtract one, two, three, then exchange, and then we can subtract four, five, six, seven, eight, to leave us with six hundreds and five tens. And finally, we can look at 755, so that's seven hundreds, five tens, and five ones, and we're subtracting 90, so we need to take away nine tens. We can take away one, two, three, four, five, exchange, and then take away six, seven, eight, nine, to leave us with six hundreds and six tens.